Hello and welcome to problem solving session on triangles. In this question, uh, it's given that AD is the bisector of angle A and BT, BD is 4 cm, DC is 3 cm and AB is 6 cm. These are the information which is given. We have to determine the length of AC. So this is what, okay. So let us say AC's length is X, I can always say. And uh, what's given? So let's do it methodically. So given is AD is the bisector. AD is the bisector bisector of triangle or oh sorry angle B A C. Now this is good enough hint in terms of what exactly is to be done in this question. So AD is bisector which is hinting that we have to use angle bisector theorem right and what is to find to find AC and I'm calling it X right. Now, solution, how to solve this. So by angle bisector theorem, in fact, internal, you should also write internal angle bisector theorem because we have also seen there is an external angle bisector theorem as well. So by angle bisector theorem, and as I mentioned, you can mention internal, right? Internal angle bisector theorem, we know that AB upon AC is equal to BD upon DC. No problem in this. So this implies AB. We know this is 6 and AC is uh, that's what we have to find out. And uh, BD is 4 and DC is 3. I'm not writing the units because all the units will get cancelled. So X becomes 6 into 3 upon 4. Now this is 2 times 3, 2 times 2. So this is 9 by 2. 9 by 2, that is 4.5 centimeter. Very, very straightforward question, isn't it? Just uh, the theorem is given or the triangle is given. Uh, one side is given and the two divisions made by the angle bisector is given. You have to find out the other adjacent side. So direct application of angle bisector theorem. I hope you understood this. So straightforward question. Here is another question guys. It says AD is the bisector of angle BAC and AB is given 10 centimeter, AC is 14. So let me highlight it. AC is 14, AB is 10. Uh, BC is given as 6. So this entire thing here is 6. And uh, we have to find BD that is X and DC which is 6 minus X obviously. So again, uh, what's given? So given is AD is the bisector bisector of angle BAC. Correct? And because of that, what will happen? We know by angle bisector theorem by internal. Again, you have to use internal angle bisector internal angle bisector theorem what do we know we know that AB upon AC will be equal to BD upon DC isn't it so again a very direct question you know so hence let's write AB as 10 because it's given as 10 AC is given to be equal to 14 and this is what X upon 6 minus X right this is what would be the relationship. So if you cross multiply, you'll get 10 times 6 minus x is equal to 14 times x. So from here, what do we see? We see 60 minus 10x is equal to 14x. So if you simplify, this will become 24x is equal to 60. So x is equal to 60 upon 24. So 12 times 2 and this is 5. So 5 upon 2, that means x is 2.5 centimeter that is bd is 2.5 centimeter so clearly dc is equal to 6 minus x so it will become 3.5 centimeter isn't it and just for the you know mentioning we have to mention x is equal to 2.5 centimeter so these were the two demand of the question right bd and dc so we now know DC is this much, BD is this much. So hence done. 
again in these two questions we saw it's very you know it's a direct application of internal angle bisector theorem 